for the second fight, the flight weight category. Feminine fight, England versus uh, Malawi. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise uh, for Ruxana Bigham from England. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Hotter than a fantasy, lonely like a highway. She's living in a world and it's on fire. Filled with catastrophe, but she knows she can fly away. From England, Ruxana Begum making her way to the ring. Looks like a girl, but she's a flame. So bright she can burn your eyes. Better look the other way. You can try, but you'll never forget her name. She's on top of the world. Hottest of the hottest girls. The second fight of the evening flight weight category, England versus Malawi. Ruxana Begum from England to make her way on the ring. Thank you. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, uh, the entrance of Loveness Koka from Malawi. Make some noise. The best, number one, and nothing less. Lead me to my destiny. I have waited patiently. I have vision, though I believe. I know I can count on me. So stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up, stand up, stand up. For the champions, for the champions, stand up. For the champions, for the champions, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Love Miss Kaka from Malawi making her entrance on the ring. Loveness, please come and join me. And we're heading into the second fight now. Ruxana Begum versus Loveness Koka. I kindly request you to stand up for the national anthem of England.
And now for the national anthem of Malawi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the second fight, uh, flight away, fly away to category England versus Malawi. And heading into the first round of the second fight, the feminine bout between Ruxana Begum and Loveless Coca. England versus Malawi. England versus Malawi, exactly. The red corner, Roxana. The, the very first Loveless. woman professional boxing fight in Mauritius. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Very first. They both look impatient to start fighting. And we're impatient to see them fight as well. And the fight starts. Class act by Roxana Begum. Looking very composed. Loveless Coca landed the first the first shot with her left hand. And it's good to compare women's fight right and men's fight. Yeah, I can see. Of a different, but of a difference as you are seeing. I can see a lot more technique, to be honest. With the guys, you can see after a while, they kind of get involved and they want to just yeah, punch yeah. each other. And it's a lot more calm. It is a lot more calm. I think the testosterone <laughs> might be a disadvantage for men yeah. in terms of calmness. Ooh, Loveless Coca. He two solid hits to the face. That wasn't bad. She's looking good. Oh, that's good. a third one. Yeah, she's looking good in that the first round. That jab of hers keeps connecting. Loveless Coca has been doing a great job. Great she job. Has, she has absolutely great job. Yeah. Roxana has to do something different. Yeah, I think she's starting to get yeah. frustrated, Roxana Begum. She's getting hit a lot. She's getting hit a lot, a yeah. Lot. And there looks to be a lot of power before behind Loveless Coca's hits as well. Roxana's coach is talking a lot to her. Can she even hear him though? That sounds like the end of the first round is coming. Ooh, that was a hit by Roxana. But that's the end of the first no. round. Loveless Coca definitely won the first round. Yeah, in my opinion as well, that jab kept connecting and one of her crosses also connected. red corner and Loveless Coca in blue corner. Our referee, Mr. Francis Orlando, judge number one, Mr. Stefano Ellen, judge number two, Mr. Chan Radio Chiban, judge number three, Mr. Vishal Kanu. And supervisor Mr. Martin and Daria. Wow. Oh, look. Right, so I think in the next round, Roxana Gagam has to come back yeah. because Loveless Coca was really, really dominating this really round, really in my opinion. Roxana has to switch. She has to switch again, do something yes. different, Out. change gears. Yeah. That looks like 
the start of the second round coming. Indeed, both fighters to their respective corner. And here we go. Koka controlling with the jab. Once again, yeah, keeping the range. She looks to have, I think, a longer range than Ruxana yeah. Begum. That's why she's touching her with her jab every single time. Ruxana has to step out of her left hand. Step out of her left hand or step in and make this a hook exchange where she with the shorter arms might dominate it a lot more. Oh, she switched to half paw every now and again. That's interesting. Roxana Vega, my name. This round's looking to be a lot more even, actually. Yeah. And Rubisana Begum is switching stands every now and again, keeping her opponent confused. She throws a jab to the body. Throws a jab to the body, moves right back out. Switches stands mid-combo. She's now southpaw. She goes back to orthodox, moving in, touch to the face. Koka has to just keep on doing control with a jab. Yeah, control but Roxana's reading the jab now. It's getting to the point where it's getting hard for Koka to actually hit her with the jab. She had some early success with it. But I feel like if that's her only weapon, yeah. she's in for a world of trouble. Especially if she's not used to actually boxing against someone who can switch stances fairly easily. Because Ruxana looks as fluent and comfortable yeah. in southpaw as she is in orthodox. She's at ease. She is at ease. That's the end of the second round coming. And actually, you can see Ruxana Vega was getting yeah. a lot more combos going. She controlled the second round. She controlled it a lot more. Of course, like, Levnes Koka still had a few good uh, jabs touching Ruxana to the face, but Ruxana was in control absolutely of that round. And she controlled the ring. She was controlling the exchanges. She had loads of hooks and uppercuts that were touching when they were closer together, making sure that, it she, that Loveless Coca couldn't actually really clinch her so that she had the space yeah. to go for her punches. It will be interesting to see what Coca can do next in the third round. What can she do to counter the tactics of Roxana Begum? I feel like, to be honest, it was a bit of a um, misleading kind of thing that in the first round she could hit her so much with her jab because the jab is a weapon that becomes readable so easily after a round or two. Now going into the third round, I don't know what she has left to hit Ruxana Begum with, I mean, Loveness Coca. We will see. We'll see. We'll see if she got what it takes. Absolutely, and the third round has begun. Loveness Coca in the pink shorts and Ruxana Begum in the black shorts. Clinching and then separating. She's still trying to hit her with that jab, but Ruxana is really reading the jab now. It's becoming Box. really hard. Boxing is not always about the power. Yeah, man. The, the IQ also is important. The IQ is absolutely important. Ruxana seems like she's adapting a lot faster within the fight. She slipped that jab beautifully right to the inside, gets a few punches in and then just clinches. She looks like she's getting comfortable now. She is, she is. She's starting to read, I think. She's starting to read every movement of Lundness Coca. Yeah. Throwing the combinations. Left hand, right hand. Oh, and switching stance mid-combo, obviously, throwing Coca off on what she thinks her range is. Hmm. She's literally controlling Coca. Absolutely doing whatever she yeah. wants at this point. Oh, that was a clean uppercut and a clean hook to the face. Yeah. Not a lot of power by Roxana Begum, but I feel like she's just she making sure that she lands a lot. 
switches stance again. She even gives the outside position to Loveness Coker, but Loveness is not really uh, able. I think that's that's how she's winning this fight, by switching stance. Absolutely, yeah, yeah because it throws off what Loveness Coker thinks her distance to fight is. Ooh, that was actually a good hood by Loveness Coker. Good right hand, and yeah. again with the right hand. Again, yeah. Beautiful. Coca ended well the third round. Yeah. But still, we have to. I feel. I feel like we have to give. Give it to Roxana Ruxana. Begum. She was a lot more in control. Yeah. She controlled the pacing. She controlled where they were moving during the round. I feel like maybe at the end of the round, Loveness Coca started understanding where the range was when she switched to South Four. Because she was doing a lot of um, stepping out of South Four right back into Orthodox, which was throwing off the combos of Loveness Coca a lot, right? Whereas Ruxana Begum, she was doing this on purpose, right? But Loveness Coca started reading that at the end of the fight. And it'll be really interesting to see what happens in the fourth round yep. now that she started that figuring out the range. Will she go for the power? Will uh, Loveless Coca go for power? And try to knock down Roxana maybe? Because I feel like that's how she can win this fight. That's the main way that yeah. she can win this fight. Absolutely. Oh, and she's against and the rope. Roxana Begum controlling the fight once again. Ring control is amazing by Roxana Begum. The head movement is beautiful. She's throwing in a bit yeah, more getting, power this yeah. time as well. Coca should get out of the corner. But where can she go, really? But where can she go? <laughs> exactly. Ruxan has got amazing ring control and is forcing her against the rope but throughout the fight. Slipping punches beautifully controlling her opponent when they're in the clinch. Referee separates them. <laughs> Slipping out of the way of punches extremely easily. She's still controlling the pace of this fight, Roxana Vega. At this point, Loveness Coca is swinging haymakers, man. She's just throwing whatever she's got and yeah. trying to make sure she can knock her down or knock her out. Looks like the last output Ruxana's of energy she, yeah. she has. Roxana is totally outboxing her at Can the she finish the, 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 the round? Can she finish the fight? I'm not sure, man. At this point, she looks tired. She looks tired enough that technique's gone out of the window. Yeah. And meanwhile, Ruxana looks like she's just getting started. And when you're tired, you, look, you miss so much more. Yeah, and you're sloppy. And your opponent hits more. Those are the knocks that signal the nearing of the end of the fourth and final round. Oh, that was a solid uppercut, <laughs> that hit from Ruxana Begum. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the second fight of flyweight category, England versus Malawi. I think both fighters did well, but you could see who was more experienced in that fight, right? Two types of, two different types of fighters. Absolutely. Um, I think Loveness Coca had early successes during round one and two with that jab. Round one and two, yeah. But then, Roxana Begum really started reading the jab and... She read, she re read the game of Coca well. Very well, and made it really hard for her to hit. But then by round three, she was starting to switch stance and all that. She really started controlling where the fight was taking place and she was making sure. The red corner and Loveless Coca from the blue corner. We will have a result shortly. Thank you very much for your presence here today. We are celebrating the second edition of Boxing and Jamming. Yes, so as I was saying, she was really controlling where the fight was going. 
by the end of round three. But then we had a little bit of hope for Loveness Coca because she could start reading the yeah. stance changes. But round four just put an end to that. Yeah. And that's it is so important for a boxer to know how to adapt during the game. Absolutely. Adapt to your opponent. Part. Adapt to your opponent. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very hard. It is, it is the hardest part. I'm sorry for talking over you, man, but it is yeah. super hard to do that mid-fight. The second point out of the top one, the front category, England versus Malawi. Aruk Sanabigum from red corner and Lovness Ekoka from blue corner. We will have the result shortly. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being present here with us today. Tough, tough, tough fight today. So who do you think won that fight, Uh I think Roxana adapted so well during the fight. She yeah. proved her IQ. She yeah, knows yeah. boxing. Absolutely, she knows boxing so yeah. well, man. We, I feel like we have to give it to her. I, I would give it to her as well. But Coca started so well in the first round. I was surprised, to be honest. Yeah, me too. She had so much power in the first round. But she burned through it, yeah. right? And Roxana yeah. started reading her and getting out of the way of those dangerous jabs. Yes, so so I feel like... Judge number two, Mr. Chan Radio Chibon, and judge number three, Mr. Vishal Ekanu. Supervisor, Mr. Martin and Daria. Yeah, so what were you saying? I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel like we just have to give it to Roxana. Yeah, I think so. Fairly. As well. Let's hope the judges don't take forever to okay. decide, like in the last round. But I don't think this one was as close as the last bout, no, right? That was not close. That wasn't close. the second edition of Boxing in Jamming number two and of course uh, we're very very proud and honored to have you here with us today ladies and gentlemen and uh, waiting for the results right now coming up very soon. Reminding you again, the second fight, fly weight a category, England versus Malawi. And of course, it was uh, Ruxana Begum from England uh, and Loveness Ekoka from uh, Malawi. Uh, and from the red corner, Ruxana Begum and uh, from the blue corner, Loveness Ekoka. We are patiently waiting for the judges to decide who is the winner of this fight. Roxana Begum from England or Love Neskoka from Malawi. But I think it's quite clear who was the most dominant in the fight, who controlled the game more. It was Roxana. 
Begum from England. I have the results, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. About two. Judge number one, red, 38. Blue, 36. Judge number two, red corner, 40. Blue corner, 38. Judge number three, red corner, 40. Blue corner, 36. The scores, red, 118, 118. And blue, 110. The winner is from the red corner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ruxana Begum, red corner. Big round of applause. As we were say, as I was saying, Roxana 